am speaking English. This is Puza Cantonio. In this video today, I am going to teach you how to use Puza Cantonio, why people use it every day, and what are the character of it. Well, let me tell you, welcome to my YouTube channel, English with JL. But before, let me say hello to all my subscribers. Please keep subscribing, please keep leaving a comment, keep sharing the videos in order to help other people discovering this channel. This is your class. Well, as I told you before, I am going to teach you who's and continue in this video. This is really important. So first, people use push and continue to explain an activity or an action that is doing at the same moment. For example, let me say that I am speaking right now. So we use push and continue to say or to tell exactly what somebody is doing at the same time. Let's see this person. You see, he is playing football. He is playing football. You see, he is cooking. She is cooking. You see, so we use the puzzle continue to explain an action or an activity that is that is doing at the same time. How do we form puzzle continue? So the puzzle continue is formed with to be plus the verb and ing. For example, I say that. I am going. I am going. You see? I am speaking. I am speaking. To be, speak, the verb, and ing. I am teaching. Well, I am teaching. So now let's see the time markers of present continue. I mean that the time mark is the other character that will let me understand exactly in which tense that the person is talking. So once I see them, I see exactly that I am in present continue or present progressive. Now let's see the time mark is of present progressive, I mean present continue. For example, right now. Right now. Now. Now, today, today, tonight, tonight, this month, this month, this week, this week, this week. So we use these kind of words to express ourselves through present continue in English. For example, in a phrase, we say that I am speaking English right now. I am speaking English right now. I am changing the class this week. I am changing job this week. I am changing my job this week. So, the present continue is different from the other tenses, like future, present tense, and past tense. So you need to understand present continue in the same way that you understand, in the same way that you understand present tense, I mean future tense, in the other tenses. So it is really, so it is really important to understand exactly how to use it, because it's important. So one of the first things that you need to understand in, for in present continue is that we use it to talk about action or activity that is making at the same moment, at the same time. And, and one of the second things that we need to understand, what we need to know is the time markers. Because the time markers, they help us to understand or to know in which things that, in which category of things that the person is talking. For example, when we see future, we see that the, the term markers of future, the term markers of present tense, the term markers of past tense, is the same that we have term markers for present progressive, as I said them before. 
So I think this is, I think that's all for today. You just need to understand that from present tense to past tense, as beginner in English, how to understand the difference, how to understand the different tenses with the time markets in order for you to be at ease in making phrase better. And I hope this video saves you and works for you in order to help you understand how to use better present privacy.